Hi guys, today in this video uh, I will walk you through how to set up below testing for an .NET Core Web API uh, application using Apache JMeter, uh, which is actually an open source tool for performance testing, right? For load testing. This video is perfect for anyone new to JMeter or those looking to improve performance of their ASP.NET application, right? So let's get started. Before we started, first thing to make sure to use JMeter is you shall need Java 8 or higher uh, version installed on your machine. Make sure you have Java configured properly before proceeding. Once you have made sure that Java is configured and installed properly on your machine, so uh, you need to head over to this link and download Apache JMeter. So you can download a zip file from here. After downloading, extract the zip file to any directory inside the extracted folder you shall see a directory by the name of bin that is where we shall find the main jmeter file to start the application inside this directory you will see a file jmeter.batch double click on it so it will launch uh, jmeter application JMeter application is launched. The first thing we need to do is set up a test plan, right? A test plan, uh, a container for all the components and configurations required for your load test. To start, uh, right click on test plan in the left panel and then go to add, then threads, click on threads group. A threads group is essentially a group of virtual users uh, that will simulate request to your API. Next, let's configure uh, our thread group. So, uh, select the thread group you just added. You shall see some uh, options uh, on the right panel. Here, you can specify the number of threads or users, the ramp up period, and the loop count. For example, let's set the number of threads to 10. This means we shall simulate 10 virtual users. Set the ramp up period to 5 seconds. So, JMeter gradually introduces the users over that time and the loop count 10 to make each user sends 10 requests. So, 10 by 10, it will make 100 requests simultaneously. Now, we have uh, configured our users. So, let's define the request we shall be sending to our uh, web API. So, right click on the thread group. Click on add, good sampler, click on HTTP request. The HTTP request sampler lets us specify details about the request, right? Such as server name, path, and HTTP method. So, first make sure your service is running. So, it's not running. Let me run it. Okay, so uh, it's running. Uh, for example, I call want to call this method of the server. So, I can run it here as well. So, let me run it to get the endpoint of this method. We got the uh, endpoint. In the path, we enter our API endpoint. Our API is running locally, so uh, we should be using uh, that local host. If you are appearing running on server, you can use uh, a proper URL for that. We have set up our request. Uh, we shall want to see the results, right? For that, we shall add a listener, right click on the thread group, go to add, go to listener, then click on view results tree. These listeners will display the results of each request, which helps us to analyze the performance of our application. So uh, with everything set up, we are ready to run our test. So uh, simply click on the green start button. So it's asking to save. Do you want to save your test plan first? Uh, no, I don't want to save it. I just want to run it. So see, I just executed. So it's showing me as the test runs, you shall see each request and response displayed in the listener. This data helps us understand the performance and response time of our application. Once the test is complete, let's look uh, at the results. We shall see details like uh, response data and then request 
which contains I mean the URL of your API and then in the sampler result we see load time, connect time, latency for each request. This data is helpful to us for analyzing overall performance. Using JMeter you can test any application not only the door. Using JMeter you can test any application right and .NET, Java are developed in any other technology. Now we have set up a basic load test for ASP.NET Core Web API application. So with JMeter you can simulate a large number of users right and access your API's performance under load. Uh, this setup can also be expanded to different endpoints right use variables even simulate complex scenarios. So that's all for now. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and software development. Thanks for watching.